<laughs> All right, legends, here's a bit of a scenario for you. There's the little lithium jump starter pack. The headlight relay on the truck's having dramas and it latched on. The truck was like at one volt. Um, it's completely drained. Those two big batteries. This fully charged jump starter pack, I put it on there. Press the low voltage override on the protection unit and it pushed power in there until it got to there, which then it says 15%. About the same time I came and hooked up the LiPo charge here, which is a uh, 20 amp LiPo charger. Off a 12 amp hour Milwaukee battery. So, it's pulling about 9 amps out of that 12 amp Milwaukee battery. So it'll do that for an hour. No issues at all. It's feeding it back into this poor little battery pack up here. So this little jump start pack, though, is sucking. Every time you hear it click, you'll hear it. You'll see the voltage dip and dive. It's connecting the lipo pack to the truck battery actually taking a bit out of the truck battery. This lead's holding up to that. Yeah, that's enough for it to trick it into thinking it's done. Alright, so we managed to get the voltage up high enough that we can make it think that it's actually a success lead acid battery now. I think the minimum is about 9 volts. We're up into the 11 range. So we've switched over to 6S lead acid. Pushing 14 amps in there because these leads can't handle too much more. These ones are okay, the ones that feed it, they're quite good. 14 gauge. This little thing's just sitting here sucking off the battery, so we're going to pull that out for the time being. Now, yeah, it dropped to 15%. And it still thinks it's at 15%. Well, we've got a car charger for this, so let's plug it in. And I want to see what it jumps to when a charge hits it. I reckon that 15%'s a lie. This has got a while to go. It shows how good those 12 O's are. All the grunt in them. Worst part is there's. 200 amp hour batteries there, so we might need a second one of them to top them off. But I've got a couple of 5 amps and others, so see how we go. Let's plug this in. Okay then, so this is the cord. There's the other end plugged into the vehicle. You can pretty clearly see 15 amps, 15% 15 sorry. Yeah, it's charging at the reckons it's at 59%. It's all over the show. These, these aren't a good product. I'm going to buy a better one. But anyway. So, I've got the park lights on. Because with the headlights... See? Headlights are off. High beams are on. Clearly something going on inside the switch up here. I need to get in there with some compressed air and blow it out or what. There you go. Alright, so I've taken the mechanism apart. I can't see anything super obvious in there. Except for that chip. So you know I eat lunch in my uh, truck. What's this thing do? Never noticed that before. What's that cable for? Hmm. 
So that's up to 62%. Sounds like it was going to wind then. It's crazy that I've only pushed two amps in there, two amp hours in there. A little bit of a worry. Can't afford to replace these batteries right now. Well, I don't have time. I'm meant to be down and delivering a truckload of rocks. Alright. I'm going to give it a few minutes and then turn this off because I'm not going to try and start it with that connected. I don't want to blow it up. What's three bars? What's that? Input voltage. 19.5. More than 10 amps out of the battery. 14 amps is about as good as those cables will handle. I'll give it a bit longer, I'll come back and start it and let you know what happened. Still no good, guys. 12 amps flat. Jump starter pack's doing nothing. I had to bring in another vehicle. Just weak, 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 weak jump starter pack. Two giant batteries on the truck. Let's see if she'll start now. There she is. It's alive. I'm gonna go and find the uh, find the high beam relay, and I'm gonna pull it out. That's all I can pull this apart and clean the contacts so it doesn't turn itself on. Imagine it's just full of dust and goo and stuff. It gets dirty in here. Every time I get in I got dirt on my shoes. It's a work truck. In here. Nice watching.